A custom cattle feeder on the South Dakota-Minnesota border is fast becoming an innovator in turning bedded pack manure into a valuable soil additive. Michael Pates has more on hummus compost in this week's Ag Week cover story. To make this place profitable, we had to use the manure. Chad Olson owns a 3,500 head beef feedlot near the South Dakota-Minnesota border. He has lots of manure, more than he can practically apply in his own acres as fertilizer in its raw form. Olson's agronomist Kurt Daigle urged him to invest in a humus composting enterprise to make better use of the volume produced in the operation. Using manure as fertilizer helps save money, but it's also carbon friendly and densifies nutrients for growing crops. That's the byproduct of any feeding operation is you're going to have manure. And a lot of times it, it's an issue, but we wanted to capitalize on that it's an asset. So composting, it's a tried and true, proven way to densify nutrients and then you can get them in a transportable form. Olson spent a total of about a million dollars on the 14 acre composting system, including site preparation, specialized equipment and training. The process dries and composts manure and it turns it into a fertilizer that is drier and easier to transport and apply to cropland. We're really hoping to see not only more efficiency out of our manure, but yield bumps on the back end off of our corn crop. Another Olson agronomist, Trent Johnson, says that as they gear up, they'll likely produce more than they can use on their own acres, so they're already planning to sell it to other farms or in landscaping markets. We want to see the benefits on our farm as well. We're not just trying to sell a product. We want to see good use out of it as well. So in 2021, a new compost enterprise. Well, I think it's already a winner. For Ag Week, this is Mikkel Pates at Toronto, South Dakota.